What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Shadowless Podcast. Hope you're all having a fantastic week. Um, I think Pokemon is a thing. If I am, if I'm not mistaken, I never think, heard I think Pokemon's of it. A, I think Pokemon's a thing right now. It's obviously Pokemon is is insane right now. It, it's going through the roof. It's trending everywhere. Everybody is, is all about Pokemon, and that's awesome to see. It's awesome to see the community uh, growing so much right now. But we're here to talk to you about what's going on in the Pokemon world. Let's discuss some Pokemon news this week. But, you know, what? I just can't do it alone. I just can't. Why not? Because Mr. Jordan Fringe. That's me. I have to I have to have you by my side. Well, I'm right here. I never leave. Well, thank you for being here. Glad to be. Well, now that we got that out of the way. <laughs> 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 thank you all for joining us. Uh, we do appreciate it very, very much. Uh, yes. We upload new episodes of the Shadowless Podcast every single Wednesday on iTunes, Spotify, um, Thursdays on our YouTube channel, Shadowless Podcast. Basically, anywhere you can listen to a podcast, you can listen to the Shadowless Podcast. We've been doing this podcast since January 1st of 2020 and just having a good time um we occasionally have guests on here but a lot of times it's just me and mr jordan fringe just sitting back relaxing and talking to every single one of you absolutely so jordan yes are you ready yeah you know give me a go i'm ready wait a minute okay well hang on everybody wait a minute just so jordan can get ready <clears throat> hmm Okay, I'm good. Okay, okay, good, good. Jordan's ready. Do you have your can of Zevia? I do. Okay, what what flavor do you have this week? Um, hmm, I was gonna, I'm contemplating. Do you guess it or do I tell you it? Oh, um, I'll guess it. Okay. You know, first and foremost, I I gotta go with cream soda. I mean, because that's that's your always like that's like your go to. That is my go-to, unfortunately, not today. But I will give you this hint. This is a caffeine one. Oh, So that okay. narrows it down for you. So um, is it just a regular cola? It is not. Oh, is it the, the Mountain Zevia? It is Mountain Zevia. Mountain Zevia. Good old Mountain Zevia. I haven't had one of those in a while. You know, I just need, I need that little extra kick. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I am... Um, I'm working on an orange flavor right now. Oh, you already opened it? Oh, yeah, I had to. Okay. Well, I had to. Here's this. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I mean, because we talk mm. usually a good two hours before we start recording. Yeah. You know what's funny? This has been sitting out those whole two hours, <laughs> but it is still cold. <laughs> it is still like parched. has like, you know, condensation on the mm -hmm. sides of it. It's cold. I'm like, you know what? It, it just keeps itself nice and cold. So. Mmm, nice orangey. Okay. What does orange taste like? Oh, um, it tastes like, you know, have you ever had an orange? Like an orange? Like orange, like the color or orange, like the food? Uh, both. Have you ever eaten the color <laughs> orange? <laughs> <laughs> I almost said orange like the color, orange like the shape. <laughs> Yeah, I, oh, like a oh, circle shape. The shape that's a that's that one grows only in in very very specific climates. Yes, which uh, in this climate <laughs> it ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started with the news. What's going on? I mean, we're not here to break the news. We're here to discuss the news with every single one of you. So at the top, the very very top of the list is how much. Did Jordan Fringe spend at PokemonCenter.com this week, Mr. Jordan Fringe? Hi. How much did you spend at Pokemon Center this week? Um, uh, oof. Uh, you know, uh, trying to calculate it. Uh, I would say 
probably like sixty five dollars. Oh, really? I thought it was gonna be zero this week. It, it, yeah. So I had so, uh, last week the pin uh, that that uh, sliding pin didn't come yes. out until the following day, right? So I had to order that after mm. the podcast, and of course, with that, I have to buy something else to get the free shipping because mm-hmm. you know why not? Yeah. Uh, I ended up getting because we talked about last time that Meowth gallery figure. Um, because I I don't know it's just those gold coins something about them. A, a lot of a lot of people bought that. I saw a lot of people posting that on Instagram. It's a nice figure. It's still available for purchase. Mm-hmm. And or then DIY. what I did buy is they dropped another Halloween piece, uh, which is the Pokemon Village window cling. So the same like village like pieces that we got in of ceramic they uh they have like artwork of them that i believe is similar to the poster that came out the other week uh Mm -hmm. that stick to your window plus a little bonus one that has the moon and you know and and a pokemon flying in front of it um i i ordered those and uh because they're 19.99 and i couldn't i had to buy something else uh (laughs) i went and got last year's (laughs) halloween uh wall things that i missed out on uh, okay. the ones that go on the wall, which has like the, the pumpkin versions of like Mimikyu and Pikachu and Gengar and whatnot. Um, so yeah, that's all what I bought. I got the, the pin and the Meowth in today actually. Uh, and then the other stuff just shipped. It should be here tomorrow or the next day. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, that's what I spent on there, but they've since mm-hmm. <laughs> dropped some stuff the last two days on the Pokemon center. Uh, more jewelry, uh, in a sense. Um, so I don't know if uh, if you know someone in your life who has charm bracelets. You know, I I actually don't. Well, my my mother loves charm bracelets, right? Uh, so they made a Pokemon charm bracelet that you can get at the base for. If you don't know what a charm bracelet is, it's a bracelet that you snap on, right? It opens and closes, and it's blank. And you fill it by buying charms that either hang off it or attach to it. Mm-hmm. And what they did, and this is actually, I mean, the, what they did was really cool with it, right? It, it's just pretty pricey when you put it all together. There's um, a, a bracelet that's a, like, it looks like a little Pokeball. That's the clamp in the middle, right? But then the badges that they have, the little things you can get on there, the charms, are a Pikachu and Eevee face, and then all eight of the original badges from uh, Kanto. Uh, each of the charms are fifty dollars. The bracelet itself is sixty four ninety nine. So obviously, I'm sure if you wanted to get one of the badges, you probably want all the badges. And the point of a yeah. charm bracelet is to not just have one charm on there, but to have many. So if you were to buy this all, you're you're looking at a at a pretty penny here. You're looking at at least five hundred dollars for all the charms individually, then sixty four ninety nine. So with tax, you're over six hundred bucks just right there in jewelry. Um. So it's very cool. Uh, charm bracelets aren't a thing for me, but if I was into them, that's kind of cool. This, yeah, this would definitely be the I like that it's it. the original badges, and I'm sure this means they'll probably do future badges. Um, and then another random drop that just kind of happened as we were <laughs> about to record, which could, true. could lead into a whole different series of drops. Uh, they released a new Al Creamy plush. But, Nate, there's something different about this Al Creamy plush. You want to know what that is? What is that? So what they did, uh, if you're not familiar with Al Creamy in the game, uh, it's not just one type of cream. <laughs> it's multiple <laughs> different mm-hmm. types of cream you can get in the game. For example, this plush is matcha cream Al Creamy, which is the greenish tinted Al Creamy with, I believe, strawberries in the uh, in the hair cream area. I don't know. It's it's a food Pokemon. I don't know how to describe hair or food or whatever it is. Uh, but yeah, so uh, by this one just randomly dropping right now makes me think that they're going to do the whole line of all the different flavors of yeah. Al Creamy, which just makes sense, of course. So it's sixteen ninety nine, which is not bad. That's on the better side of plush cost. Uh, and yeah, it's up there now. It's nine and a, and a quarter inches. It's green, <laughs> and you can buy it. It is kind of a I like a beautiful shade of green. It's a, it's a it, nice shade of green. It's, it really reminds you of like a key lime pie color. Yeah, but it's matcha color, so it's the same thing. <laughs> it's matcha. Yeah, so yeah, it's green. And green's my favorite color. 
there you go. So so this is this is right up my alley. There I you like go, this. right up your alley. Um, also, I wanted to uh, do a follow up from a discussion last week of how much we really enjoyed the Mimikyu, Gengar, and Luc- uh, Lucario zip up hoodies, where yeah. it's kind of got like. You know, the hood is the Pokemon itself. And then if there's a tail, it's on the back of the, the zip up hoodie. Yeah. Um, just to kind of update on that, when we talked about it last week, it was still in stock. Mimikyu is completely sold out every single size. And it's my favorite new hoodie. Gengar, completely sold out every size. Lucario, sold out every single size. Now, Quote me if I'm wrong, but did we not say that those would be the three to sell out? That's true. That's true. Oh, wow. That's, now, the uh, other two are crazy. still in stock. Uh, I think some of the sizes are sold out on the two X and three X. And then one, it's the th- only the three X that's sold out. Yeah. So uh, it, it, these might come back in stock. They might not. If they're this um, hot of sellers, you know, <laughs> they might be making more on the production line. Yeah, um, but don't be surprised if they don't come back in stock. Yeah, that too. But um, I will say, the the quality of the Mimikyu one that I have is like really good. Like their the clothing that Pokemon makes from their website is like surprisingly like high quality. Because uh, I remember really someone is. asked me back in the day, like since I ordered a lot, like is it actually good? And yes, it genuinely mm-hmm. is good. Um, so yeah, it's one of my new favorite hoodies. I love it. You'll probably see it in many videos in the future, me wearing it. <laughs> it's a nice hoodie. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. But speaking of Mimikyu, speaking of Mimikyu, I knew Nate, you were going to lead right into that. <laughs> <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong again, but I just happened to turn on the, the Pokemon YouTube channel, right? The, the official Pokemon YouTube channel, because they're like, hey, let's talk about some spooky Pokemon. And uh, let's, here's a little tale about Mimikyu. And I click on the video, and lo and behold, there's the one, the only real Breaking Nate, <laughs> telling me about Mimikyu. So, Nate, now, did, what's happening? Did you, did you know when you clicked on that that you were going to see me? No. Okay, so you legit didn't know. No. So here, here's the real story of what happened, right? I saw a couple other people advertising that they were doing something with it, right? And I saw all the videos upload. I said, oh, I wonder who else has done a video. And my first thought is, I wonder if Nate did one. Because that'd be cool. And I clicked Mimikyu first because, okay, that's my guy. I have to click Mimikyu. Yeah. And then you showed up. And I was like, no <laughs> way. And I, I texted you so fast. I said, bro, you did. why didn't you tell me? <laughs> I, was, I was like, I'm so happy you got Mimikyu. Um, yeah, I had so, to yeah. keep it a secret. I had to, couldn't tell anybody about yeah, it. Yeah, and Pokemon, even though I'm, you know, the friend and everything, he kept it a secret. Did not tell me. So he's he's a good, trustworthy person to keep, you know, having do things like that. So please hire him again for a fun little it, it uh, was, thing. It was a lot of fun. If anybody wants to go watch it, um, just go to YouTube.com and go to the official Pokemon uh, YouTube channel. And uh, there's a bunch of them on there. I think there's like 15 different ones. There's a lot, um, yeah. And you'll see yeah, a lot of creators and, that you've probably seen on YouTube pop oh, up. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, Leonhardt's on there, mm-hmm. uh, Unlisted Leaf, Super Duper Danny, um, a lot of, uh, a, a lot of, and some streamers as well, um, commentators. Mm-hmm. So it, it was, it was a fun, fun thing to do. Uh, and I was definitely very nervous. Very, did very great. nervous because I was like, I was like, oh, I got Mimikyu. That's a fan favorite. Like, I can't mess this one up. Yeah, but you, you know, know, you got you get lit. between you and me, you got the best one. Yeah, it, I mean, they're all great. Gengar, but you got the best. Gengar one. would have been a good one too. Yeah, but uh, you still got Mimikyu, which means you did. You got the right one. <laughs> I was excited for Mimikyu. I'm not gonna lie. I was I was over the moon for Mimikyu. Oh yeah, and uh, you can actually watch it on. Uh, pokemon's website too yep so if you go to pokemon.com and you kind of scroll down i believe it says something like spooky activities uh, i'm going to check right now and then then you get to see all the tales i remember when i visited the site uh just to check it on there it had me scroll down a list of like different pokemon and then like mm-hmm. all of a sudden there's Mimikyu in this cluster that was on that scroll page and then it opened up to your video yeah, so I think when you scroll down, the first, the first wave that you get is uh, is Gengar, Yamask, and uh, Mimikyu. Yeah. 
which uh, you ask, uh, is the one that Unlisted Leaf did. So yeah, that's so, awesome. It was it was fun. Uh, I I had a had a blast doing it, and uh, hopefully I get to do something again like that in the future. So uh, yeah, go watch it. Leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. Get those uh, get those views up on the Pokemon YouTube channel. Heck yeah. Uh, so yeah, um, let me know how I did. I was very nervous when I did it. You did was scared. great. I was scared. I tried my best. Um, but before we continue onward, I, I think you have some news yourself. I, I I do. I do have some news. Um, what? Let's uh let's get real and raw here for a minute. Uh, as a lot of you know, uh, towards the beginning of the summer in in June, I kind of stopped making Pokemon content. Wait, what? Yeah, in 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 June, I uh, <laughs> my channel, uh, Jordan Fringe, became uh, something else. Uh, well, I took a break first, but then it mm-hmm. became something else, and it became Pickle. And I know a lot of you guys, um aren't into that or unsubscribed and that's understandable because it's not the content you subscribe for and the one of the biggest reasons of me leaving uh or not doing that anymore on on youtube was the fact of uh editing the openings of pokemon cards right uh it became so tiresome to me to edit it was essentially felt like the same video even though it's new products right it just mm-hmm. kind of felt like I was making the same video over and over again. Uh, no matter how unique I tried to make them, it just felt that way to me. And I have a big problem with feeling stagnant. So I decided to to move on to try something to challenge myself a little more. But now, fast forward to today, uh, I made an announcement on Instagram that I have a side channel that is new that is called Jordan Fringe. It looks just like the old channel did. Same photo, same banner, same name. It's called Jordan Fringe. And I will be making Pokemon content again. But there is a caveat to that. And I want to be very clear about that. <laughs> I want to be very clear about this. Um, where do I open Pokemon cards? Sometimes on Twitch. Like once a week, maybe every other week, depending on when I have product, right? That's where I open cards because it's live. I can experience it with everyone and I don't have to edit mm-hmm. that video. So it makes it a lot more fun and engaging for me. Plus it's direct feedback from people watching and that's super fun. Then on the YouTube channel, what the YouTube channel is, I don't want to go into too many specifics, but I did promise on, on Instagram that I would talk about it on the podcast in a little more detail here. Um, it's f- I want to make Pokemon content that I am like extremely proud of making. I want to bring the quality that I bring to the pickle videos on that channel to the Jordan fringe channel. And I'm not trying to just make Pokemon documentaries, but I want to bring you interesting stuff on collecting uh, vintage items. Uh, Sometimes it may involve cards, um, but it's not a Pokemon card opening channel. But mm-hmm. it's it's about Pokemon, like rare items, how to collect them, you know, what's the values on them, stuff that's like interesting about it. If I'm traveling when the world's all better again, you know, where am I going? What am I looking for? Where am I hunting down? Deals that I'm doing, friends that I can, you know, discuss their collecting you know, with, you know, like a lot of cool, interesting things I want to do with that. And I want to bring you well edited, high top tier quality Pokemon videos to that channel. That's what Jordan Fringe is, and it's and it will extend past Pokemon sometimes. It's more of a hobbyist channel. Uh, it's it's if I want to talk about something else that's nerdy and geeky that I collect, like Pokemon, uh, like if I want to talk about you know the card games that should that shall be a not named on this podcast. That's I, right. I, I might <laughs> you know if I want to talk about other you know just in general anything else that I have interest in that are part Beetle of the boards. collection. Yes, absolutely. You know, if I wanted to talk about them, that's that's the place. And okay. for bigger projects, like I have a giant project that I'm working on that I've been working on for a long time that hopefully will come to fruition before a certain thing happens because I need it to coincide with this other thing. And that's so I know that's so descriptive of what I'm working on, but I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to talk about the idea, obviously, until it's done. Um and now I have a place to to make it as perfect as possible, and mm-hmm. 
I'm really excited to do this because I've obviously talked a lot about this online, uh, about how I felt. And obviously since I've stopped, um, I, I have received a lot of harassment for stopping and it, it is what it is. You know, I think, I think sucks, people want to, they just, they just love seeing you do Pokemon stuff. And I think people, and, miss and it. while I appreciate it, I want to make sure it's known that I'm not being pressured. I'm not yes. feeling any sort of way to do this to appease the people who are coming after me for for not doing anything Pokemon related recently. It's a hundred percent off my own free volition. Like I, I want to do this. I have had these ideas and it's just about time that I actually wasn't ready to announce this yet, but the last few days of harassment have been uh, overwhelming to say the least um, for a few specific reasons. And whether it was intentional or unintentional, because I've had a mix of both, you know, and mm -hmm. this is just a way to tell people that it's happening and there will be stuff there. All right. So it, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Like I have been working on the ideas for this. I just didn't want to announce it yet because I wasn't ready to drop a video today on the channel or anything. Yeah. So it just it got too much the last couple days. And I just said, you know what? Fine. Here's the big secret. I'm coming back to do Pokemon stuff, but in a different way on my terms, but to have fun and to be engaging and to give something new, right? Like I love opening Pokemon cards and, and you love opening Pokemon cards and a million other people love opening Pokemon cards, but there's so many people out there open Pokemon cards and that, that it like, like genuinely enjoy everything about it. Like the, the editing and all this other stuff, right? I love opening them, but I just, I can't do that editing anymore, you know? And, mm -hmm. You know, if I want to watch Pokemon, I'm going to watch you or I'm going to watch our other friends do it. Right. Or I'm going to watch some new people. It gives us a space, you know, for more people to do this kind of stuff. And that's great. And I want if you want the cards, if you want to watch cards be opened, watch Nate, watch, watch, you know, our, our friends, like watch the people who are doing it, do it. I want to bring you something that's not just card related as a little extra side thing, right? I'm always going to talk about cards. I'm going to open cards on Twitch. I have this podcast here with my best buddy, Nate. Like I'm always here to talk about Pokemon. When I left Pokemon, I didn't really leave it. I just stopped making content about it. Oh yeah. And, and that's, that's definitely true. I mean, you know, cause we talked about Pokemon all the time, even when you were done uploading content about Pokemon. Yeah. A hundred percent. I'm on still, top of all the news, you know, you were still spending a lot of money. <laughs> I still <laughs> spend a lot of money, you know, like on or off camera, like I'm still buying and opening and collecting. Like that's not changed, right? Like the amount <laughs> hasn't changed just because I'm not doing it on YouTube. Well, I think anybody that follows you on at least like Instagram will yeah. know that like you're still into Pokemon because you, you make post about it a lot. So yeah i mean i at least i hope so that's the that's the thought anyway right um i just and i know it, it comes from like the people who are saying things are saying like oh I, I i love when you did this i wish you did that you know or or told me stories of how they enjoyed it or how their families like would watch it together like father and son or father and daughter or like however it was right mm -hmm. and you know that's that's i love doing it for that aspect and you know, hearing a lot of these stories, you know, the great stories, and there's nothing wrong with those, but like contrast that with the people who are saying this should be Pokemon. You should go back to Pokemon. Stop this stuff. You know, the 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 comments that are coming on, you know, the pickle videos or or them finding me on Twitter just to say something nasty to me, right? Like, I know it can be I, hurtful. I, it uh, it does hurt, and I know it comes yeah. it comes from a place of love, but comes out as hate, and I understand. If, if I enjoyed someone's creations and they one day said, you know what, I'm going to take this thing you enjoy and not do that anymore and do something that you have no interest in. I get that. And I, and I honestly sympathize with that. And I'm sorry if I did let you down when I left. But I had to do it for myself. I had to do it for my mental health. And I'm in a better spot now because of that mentally. And I want to bring you guys something extra special that challenges me as hard as I can to make interesting and unique content. I don't like taking any easy road outs or stuff that I can find easy for myself. I like to actually have a challenge that I can push myself to another level so I can prove not, not to, not for anyone, not for anyone's, you know, like, Hey, good job. But to myself that I can mm -hmm. make something better than I thought I could. 
and that's and that's what I want to make. And this is only about me and the content I'm producing. And I thought it was clear to see when I was making my content that if you watched like last year's stuff, right around hidden fates, I was on top of it. I was energetic. My intros were highly edited. You know, I was doing all this crazy stuff. And then all throughout 2020 up until when I stopped, the videos got worse, lazier, less edited because I just didn't want to do it anymore. I lost the passion for making it exciting. And some people are great at always having a fun way to do it. Like yourself, Nate, like you always have something unique and fun and interesting to do. I Thank you. I lost that passion for it, at least making the whole video and, and editing it. I didn't lose passion for Pokemon. I lost passion in myself for my creations of Pokemon. And I didn't feel I was adding any value. I feel like I was just posting to post because that's what I should be doing. And that's not how you should go about any of this. If you have a passion for something, do it. If you don't, don't force yourself. And uh, I know I've been going on way too long about this. Now, Jordan, you have you've talked about these ideas that you've had for Pokemon content, uh, all, leading all the way back to I mean, even even back to 2019. You've told me the ideas that you have that you want to make into content, um, and, and trying to f- figure out how to do it, how to navigate to do it. And you, whenever you tell me, you're very very passionate about it so uh, i can only imagine what you have in store you've told like i said you've told me some of these ideas so i kind of know what is coming up but uh, i look forward to seeing what all you have in store and uh, i i am telling you all out there right now that that you're going to be excited about this i mean jordan you do a fantastic job with content you're editing a plus you're you're on your a game with everything you do and no matter what channel it is you you do a good job you're informative and uh i'm looking forward to it and i highly encourage everybody else to be on the watch out for it well i i do appreciate it very much nate um you know behind the scenes aside from just you know what people see on the podcast and all that um you know the summer especially was a very, you know, bad place for me in my mental health. And, you know, if it wasn't for you and in close, you know, some very few close people, like, you know, that it's, you really helped me through some tough times when I came to you, um, telling you that, you know, I didn't want to do the Pokemon stuff anymore on YouTube. You supported it. You know, we're still doing the podcast and we still talk all Mm -hmm. the time when I, you know, when I when we were stopping doing like the card battle stuff, you know, before I left, you know, like, you know, you understood and then it was all good. Like there was, you know, only best interests at heart, you know, doing that stuff. And, you know, I couldn't be more thankful to have someone like you in my life who was able to not only be supportive, but like be a genuine uh, friend who's who's there. Um, and I, I truly do appreciate you for that. Well, thank you. And, and, and I'm always here for you. And I appreciate you as a friend and as a person. I think you bring a lot to the world. Uh, as corny as that may sound, it's true. It's true. You bring a lot to, to the world and to, to other people's lives. And I appreciate you and your friendship. So I, I want to thank you for, for being part of my life. You, you've helped me through a lot of things as well. So uh, it definitely definitely goes both ways. So uh, I want to thank you for, for being a good, uh, a good true friend. So, so thank you, Mr. Jordan French. Oh, no, thank you. And, uh, you know, if anyone wants to check out the stuff that, I, that I'm going to bring to the table on the new channel, um, it's if, if you're listening to the podcast on, on audio only, you can find it on my Instagram uh, by searching Jordan Fringe 94, and there's a link to it there. Uh, you can search Jordan Fringe on YouTube. Um, if you're listening to the podcast on YouTube, there's a link in the description. Go ahead and check it out. I don't have content yet, uh, like at the moment of recording this, because again, I, I wanted to drop this because of everything that's going on. And, um, and yeah, so I feel free to check it out. I've I've gone on way too long about it. I apologize. It's all good. Uh, it's all good. Yeah, that's uh, that's what's it's going good. on. It's good. It's good to share 
what's on your mind, share your emotions, share how you're feeling, not be ashamed of it. We all feel certain ways and it's good to put out there in the world how we're feeling so people know, so people understand. And so hopefully something just like the talk that we had can hopefully help somebody else to share their feelings um, with the world or with someone that's close and near and dear to them. So yeah, um, thank you for, for sharing that with, with all of us. Absolutely. So, and if you go over to Jordan Fringe's Instagram, you get to see pictures of Mr. Jordan Fringe when he was just a little <laughs> Mr. Jordan Fringe yeah. in his Pokemon clothes. Yep. I was able to, um, I found a, found a bunch of old photos that, uh, just had a lot of Pokemon memorabilia in them. And funny enough, I remember I've talked about it on here before and I've talked about it with you and, and everything that, uh, when no one remembered that, uh, like in my family or people I talked to that like Rose art set, you yeah. know, <laughs> funny enough, there's a picture of me holding that set. And I'm like, this was like the <laughs> ultimate proof right here that I found. Uh, so I did a side by side of, uh, of the original one. And then, you know, the one I have now and, um, uh, I don't know. It's just very, it's, very nostalgic. It's come full circle. Yeah, definitely. All right. So I thought that was a pretty cool one to post. I have some other non-direct Pokemon related ones that are pretty cool, but you know, I don't know. I've just been releasing like the, the Pokemon ones that I've found that are pretty interesting. So that's been fun. It's it's always fun to see that, you oh, know, yeah. like see, see childhood pictures and you're wearing Pokemon or you're playing with Pokemon toys or whatever it may be. It's just always Kind of nice to see, you know, a full circle situation that you still enjoy it, you know? Right. All right. We have some more Pokemon news, but not much more. It's been a very <laughs> slow week, and which is weird, okay? It doesn't seem like it's been a slow week with Pokemon news, with the the hype and everything going on right now. But if, if you're talking legit, like... News that, that the Pokemon Company has released, uh, that's, that's been put out there. There's not been a whole lot, but no. there's been some. There's yeah, been some. Been, been a couple things. Um, next up, we have the Jirachi GX Collection box. Now, this is an interesting one. It's I think it's good for people who are just coming into the hobby. Uh, it's good for kids. It's good as a present. I think um, maybe if you've been into collecting or competitive play for um, quite some time now, this box is probably not for you unless you're wanting uh, one of the promos inside of this box. But overall, not a uh, not a, a terribly bad box. It's got its pros. It's got its cons. Um, but I think there's a really nice price point with this box for a Black Friday deal. But uh, Jordan, give us a rundown of what is inside this Jirachi GX box. Yeah, let's talk about this uh, interesting box. So, of course, it comes with that Jirachi promo that uh, we've heard so much about finally coming out here. Mm -hmm. um, one of the missing cards from Japan that we finally got. It's uh, you know it's technically part of a missing you know alternate art from uh, uh, Unified Minds. So that's cool. Uh, but the other two promos are promos that we already got. It comes with two other cards that are both promos from the Crimson Invasion three-pack blisters, which apparently you can still buy now. They're at Target's again, and part of their little blister section packs. And that True. is the Decidueye SM55 promo, and then the Lucario SM54 promo. So those are both in the box with Jirachi for no reason other than why not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, and then funny enough, it comes with two coins, not one plastic coin, two plastic coins, one of Lucario, which makes sense. Okay. Yeah. And then one of Shaman, which, hey, like you always choice. say, no Shaman to Shaman, but yeah, is why not Decidueye? I don't understand that, but okay, that's fine. Let's ignore all that for a second. All right. There is what? 10 packs that come in here, right? Yeah. There are a very weird assortment of only old packs. <laughs> that's, that's this yeah. box is the only old packs box. Like that, like this looks like it released in like 2017 at the latest, you know, uh, what you get in here is three sun and moons base sets, 
three Crimson Invasion, one Steam Siege, one Fates Collide, one Breakpoint, and one Evolutions. And they're spaced out in such a weird way where there's like two of Crimson Invasion on one side, one on the other, and then two Sun and Moon, and then one of I don't know. It's a very weird mock-up. Um, very weird box, but here's where it gets yeah. interesting. The box itself releases on November 4th for $50, right? Standard. Mm-hmm. That's if you want the box and you need it that day, 50 bucks. But if you wait three days on Walmart's website, just three days, so November 7th, uh, uh, it's, instead of 50 bucks on Walmart's website, as part of a early Black Friday deals for days that Walmart's doing, a lot of places are doing Black Friday over the course of several weekends, they're putting it up there for $20. Which is a really good deal. Actually. Now that's a great deal for fifty bucks. Sure, you're getting ten packs. It's fine, right? But the twenty dollar price point, like I don't. You could literally make it all sun and moon. I'm buying it. Like twenty bucks, okay. Right? Yeah, I'm down. Twenty twenty dollars for ten packs, whatever the set may be, is a really good deal. And then plus you're gonna get that Jirachi GX promo, the full art. Um, on I mean it's technically not a promo; it's an alternate art. Um. But I mean that's 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 really good. Yeah, that's excellent. So uh, November seventh is really when you're going to want to purchase that. Yes. <laughs> so wait three days, unless you just have to have it, and you'll save yourself thirty bucks, which is not bad at all. So yes, it's full of old stuff, but that's okay. Sometimes old stuff is great, especially when it's at a great discount. <laughs> I mean, you know, and and we kind of talked about this uh, before we started, but, you know, if, if you look at the breakdown of the box, okay, let's say you get that for for $20. There's an Evolutions booster pack in it, and an yeah. Evolutions booster pack is going for like $10, $12 right now. <laughs> so not so, a bad deal. Uh, yeah. So, you know, and, and with the way that Evolutions is heading, which if anybody doesn't know right now, um, Evolutions booster boxes are, are, are around the $500 range right yeah. now. It's it, it, it's, it is absolutely skyrocketing right now. So uh, an Evolutions booster pack might be worth more than $20 by the time we're discussing or, or on the podcast next week. That's something we should follow up on next week. Is is the price of evolutions? I mean, I mean that evolutions. Whew. See, there's a reason people people made fun of me. All right, I stopped opening my evolutions packs a long time ago, and I've just been hoarding them up. You know, that's, that's all I do. Yeah. I just keep them sealed and I put them to the side as soon as I get it. Don't open them up because I just knew. I just knew I said someday, someday someone's gonna want more of these they're gonna go up and down in price and right now it's an up um i'd be smart to sell but i'm not going to sell i'm i think it's kind of funny to just collect all these seal evolutions packs at this point uh so i'm just gonna keep doing that uh but yeah so evolutions is going up if you're getting them i probably should keep them sealed yeah probably probably a good unless you just have to open it up so i mean you know the 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 charizard from that is just a regular hollow rare Charizard is, is floating around $140. Yes. Ungraded. Yeah. And, and I think reverse hollow is even more than that right now. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, they're getting up there. If you have the stamp, the stamped one that says evolutions on it from like a build and battle box, that's the, that's the yeah. ticket right there. That one's the big one. And what you know, what's even better than that is if you have that one, but it's stamped with the staff. Mm, if you have the staff promo yeah if you have the staff version yeah then Woo! then you're talking you're talking big winner at the casino with that one let's let's uh i'm gonna look it up right now let's see if uh one has recently sold uh on ebay and we'll we'll kind of get a little bit of an, an estimate here so charizard evolutions staff all right Whoo! oh wow Okay. So um, if you wanted one right now, Mm -hmm. Mr. Jordan French, um, if you got $4,000, it's yours. (laughs) It's it's yours. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. 
Uh, I mean, because it's on here right now. Nah, all it's yours. All right. It's okay. All right. Well, I'll hold off for now. Well, okay. How? Okay. Well, if you don't want that one, let's try a different one. Um, how about a PSA 10 version with the staff? Um, you want that one? Possibly. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, if you have, if you just have a spare 45,000. Would you come again? Just, yeah, just a spare 45,000. Well, uh, one more time. I, I, I could have sworn you said $45,000. Uh, I did, but with how fast the Pokemon cards are going up, it's now 50. <laughs> oh. No, yeah, there is one on here listed for $45,000. That's just listed, though. Um, I don't know. I'm going to look at sold listings and see if there is a PSA 10 staff. Um, I'm not seeing PSA 9 staff. That was about 2000. No, I don't see one. I don't see one on here. Just doing a quick look. I mean, that's an interesting card to keep a watch on right now. And uh, especially if you have a lot of bulk laying around the house, uh, maybe check your bulk. You might have you might have thrown a hollow rare Charizard in there. <laughs> check your bulk. I mean, because I'm going to be completely honest with you. I probably have a couple that I've thrown in bulk. <laughs> I know I at least have two, and I know where both of those are and my reverses, and they're all in great condition. I know that for sure. I'm going to have to... But I should check my Evolutions bulk. You definitely should check your Evolutions bulk, 100% for sure. I wonder... Let's see here. I want to I want to look up cuz like I said there's not a whole lot of news this week so you know we're we'll, we'll dive into just some other random things like we're doing right now. I think honestly I think evolutions is one of the most interesting topics to talk about this week just because of how fast it blew up. Yeah. Uh I want to see kind of like what the top top most valuable cards are from this set right now. And there's a big pretty a pretty big gap between the values. So obviously you get the, the, the rare, just the regular rare Charizard coming in at number one, number two, you got the mega Charizard EX full art mm -hmm. coming in at $50. And then mega Charizard EX, just regular ultra rare coming in at $20. And then it goes down to black, uh, mega blastoise EX full art at $10. So you can definitely see pretty big gaps right there. Oh yeah. Definitely a big, uh, big gaps. I mean, most people want it for the Charizard, or they uh, they want that nostalgic feeling of opening up a base set booster pack because base set booster packs definitely are very expensive right now. And I'm not talking, you know, just a first edition or Shadowless or Unlimited. I mean, all of them, all of them are 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 expensive right now. So, um, Evolutions is a another good alternative route, but even that is getting high up in price. But the good thing about Evolution's booster packs is they have put them in so many collection boxes that you could probably go out to the store right now and buy any collection box and get an Evolution's booster pack. So look at your collection boxes next time you go to the store. You'll probably see some Evolution's booster packs inside of them. Plus, we still have that, that Evolution's box coming out. Correct me if I'm wrong yes, about those that. Are, those are like the, the very start of November as well. Those should be dropping. The Kanto Power ones. Mm hmm. So, yeah, those are. With those, 10 booster packs inside, right? Yeah, those are 10 each. One is uh, one has a Mewtwo and someone, and one is a Dragonite and someone. And I think it's it's like, what, is a Pidgeot and a Slowpoke are the other options? but Or a, a Slowbro? Something like that. Yeah. I forget wh what's who's with who, but one box has a Mewtwo, one box has a Dragonite. Uh, so yeah, those are cool. If you want more Evolutions packs, I'm literally getting them to just keep them sealed because I it's only Evolutions. I really have no need to open them personally, uh, and it's probably better I don't open them. Yeah, at this point, might want to might want to keep those sealed. Yeah. <laughs> um. But of course, that that Charizard, that Hollow Rare Charizard from Evolutions, is pretty hard to grade. Um, 
it's hard to get a PSA 10 of those. Mm-hmm. So uh, if you're able to get a PSA 10, awesome. Awesome. Um, do we have anything else on the list? We got uh, the <laughs> Venusaur and Blastoise VMAX. Yeah, those are finally being shown off. Those uh, similar to uh, earlier this year, we got the uh, the Charizard deck box mm-hmm. that came from Japan, which you were you ended up getting, and um, that came with Charizard V Max and Charizard. Our first look at them, and then yep. now in Japan, they're finally getting a Blastoise and Venusaur box that come with the first appearance of uh, Mega Venusaur and or it's not not Mega. I'm sorry. What, what generation am I in? <laughs> uh, Gigantamax V Max versions of Blastoise and Venusaur, uh, which look awesome on the card. My only concern is like the box art I'd love, but you compare it to the Charizard box art and you put all three together and it looks weird. Like the, if the Charizard just had like a regular red background, it would look so nice all three together. But they made Charizard like it's in it like all these neon colors and like black and everything. I feel like that's like the box for it was like completely different. Mm-hmm. So it definitely it may not look good all together if you put them all together because like you know the it is what it is. But I know that they're, are they still doing that three pack that still comes with all three decks. I believe. I think so. So yeah. they'll at least have a unified version of it that'll have all three together. Which look sorry, I'm such a stickler for aesthetics. So it's like, ugh, why is one thing different and the others aren't? Like, 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 why can't you just make it all one look? Um, but I do like the art on them. I think the cards themselves look awesome. Look, they look really cool. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see those. And we also get to see the regular, you know, V versions of Venusaur and uh, Blastoise, which we've already seen Venusaur, uh, at least a version of Venusaur in Champion's Path. Um, so now this is a different one here. But when there's something about that Blastoise. He's just he's just having a good time. When do you think that uh, th- that I almost said Mega Blastoise too, <laughs> <laughs> that Blastoise V Max and that Venusaur V Max will show up outside of Japan? What set do you think that's going to be? Uh, the next set. I think that's January, or I guess not January February set. I guess this if if the holiday set comes out right early in the year and comes out throughout the year, it'll be in the first regular set, I believe. So whether that's okay. March, April, or May, whenever we get the 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 next one that starts off the year, I do think it'll be in there because that set is going to be based off of the Pokemon that came in the first uh, DLC of Isle of Armor for Sword and Shield, and that's where that's the true. Mega Evolution. Yeah. Or, there I go again, Mega Evolution. That's where the <laughs> the uh, the V Max, uh, the Gigantamax came from for those characters. So. I assume it would be in there because that would make sense. We had Charizard first, of course, because they need to sell the game. So it's like, look, Charizard does it. So we got Charizard already, but now we got these two. And uh, I would love to see the other starters of other regions get some love. Johto, you know, we got Typhlosion, Meganium, Fraligator. Don't forget about those. You know, we could get those some cool, crazy Gigantamax evolutions. Can we just talk about how there's not been a Psyduck card in the Sword and Shield area yet? <laughs> Uh, I feel I feel we'll we'll eventually get one for sure, you man. Think, you think we'll see one in the, in Hidden Fates two point two point oh? Sure. Why not? You don't think so? That is definitely <laughs> not a listen. Not a if, yes, it's going to be if, in there. If the, here, I'll say this: if they do baby shinies again, similar to Hidden Fates, then I would say you have a seventy five percent chance of getting it. I Based, mean, that's all I'm asking for. I'm the, not asking for a full art. The only the only reason I would give you that seventy five percent is because it is a popular Pokemon, and the fact that they put a shiny Psyduck in the anime. I mean, yeah, they did put it in the anime. So Not that has any correlation, but something right. tells me that Pokemon's like, we did a shiny Psyduck there, so why don't we make a shiny Psyduck? over there so i don't know I, it's different departments handle different things but I, that's just my th- way of thinking i just i just see a pattern i'm like yeah, i feel like we're gonna get a shiny side deck so i'll give it a 75 percent a more likely to happen than not uh but you know also don't hold your breath because maybe it doesn't happen but hopefully it does i'd be really upset i mean i feel like with you know when you think about popular pokemon pokemon that are always included in lines of products you know we always see pikachu we always see uh, Eevee, Charizard. Yep. 
Psyduck is always one of them. Yeah, he's been around. Yeah, so, and that's the only one that's never had a shiny Pokemon card. Well, it's about time. I think it's about time. I think it's time, no pun intended, I think it's Psyduck's time to shine. Well, let's get let's get our yellow boy a blue boy. Let's get him on a card. Let's call up let's call up Mr. Pokemon. Oh, Mr. Pokemon. <laughs> yes. Let's give him a call real quick. <laughs> oh man. Um next up on the list. These shiny plushies. If they are if they do exist. <laughs> we we know they exist. Yeah, we know we, they exist. We know they exist. So, um, Wicked Cool Toys Jazzwares uh, has put out. I don't even know if they're officially released yet. Maybe some stores put them out early, but maybe it's definitely a possibility. At this they point. have made shiny Pokemon plushies of Pikachu, Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. Yes, and they all come in like a, a you know they just come in like a display box full of them. Uh, people have only found them at Target. Yeah. However, so I have not seen them at Target. Either have I. <laughs> yeah, and we can't find any sort of release information on this. Or an actual listing anywhere of them. Like, even yeah. on Target's website, there's no listing of these items. So you can't call them up and say, hey, here's the you know UPC or the, whatever code they asked for. You can't even tell them that. Because you don't know what it is. So that's what I'm thinking. Like maybe these were, maybe some stores accidentally put them out early. I guess, but it's like, how did people, did people just stumbled upon them? Like, cause there's, cause like I see some people having them, right? And it seems like they knew about them, but I've seen nothing online about these yet. Yeah, I'd like to know know some information about these. Yeah, and I would also like to know where I can purchase them. I think there's there's four, right? There's yes. four different ones. It's Pikachu and then the three original starters. Um, but that's that, and apparently what didn't it say like what wave one or series one? Yeah. On so the... on the tag, it actually says like right there on the tag on the bottom, it says series one. So there's a possibility that they'll probably make more in a series two other Pokemon getting shinies, but it's, I mean, this is official shiny product, you know, that's a big deal. You know, that's, that's I, pretty I, yeah. exciting. I mean, cause besides, besides Pokemon center, I can't tell you if we have ever had a shiny plushie, uh, at least like a wide released one and like a regular store. I don't believe so. Yeah. Um, and the only other shiny, like as of recent, that we don't even have here yet because it's tied to the Coco movie. Like that's in Japan. There's a Celebi, a shiny Celebi plushie, which I'm sure we'll eventually get here on the Pokemon Center website. Um, yeah. But other than that, it's like you, one, you rarely ever see a shiny plushie. And two, you know, they, uh, for actual like retail stores having them, that's just, that's just unheard of. But I think it's a good idea. Oh, I, I, I do that, think it's a great. I think people eat it up. Yeah, I think it's something that people definitely, definitely want. So, uh, my so, hat is off to Jazzwares yeah. for making these. If you um, can find them out there, congrats to you. Um, find the information if you purchase it. Get the information on the receipt of like what the numbers, like the code is for it, and help people out to try and find them for themselves. Because if people have those numbers to search for them, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, it's, it seems like it's so, it's so weird. There's just like no information at all on this. Cause I've, I've tried to find something on it and I cannot find anything. Either can anything I, at all. even when you like search it up, you would think like, Oh, cause it's news. It would have to pop. Nope. All searches just go back to old random or fan made shiny plushies. Mm hmm. And it's like, great, that doesn't help me at all right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we'll keep you all updated on uh, on this shiny Pokemon plush hunt. And yes. since they've only been found at Target, I mean, I don't know, is that a Target exclusive? It could be. Uh, only other information we know is that they retail for 15 bucks each. That's not what they're I being sold can... for on eBay. Yeah, on yeah. eBay I think they're like 34 when we looked. Yeah. A little over over 30 bucks for sure 
for the individual ones. So, you know, best luck finding them out there if you can. And obviously we'll keep you updated. Uh, and then last, last but not least, there is a company called Rock Love. Have you yes. heard about this, Jordan? Oh, yes, I have. I have their the Mimikyu necklace from them. Is wait, so is that is that different? Because on the Rock Love website, mm -hmm. there is different ones than what is on Pokemon Center. So are the ones on Pokemon Center also Rock Love? Yes, I think that's just part of their their deal is that they split up some of the releases. Yeah. Okay. 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 Because yeah. there's there's four main ones and then some earrings on Pokemon Center that are all Rock Love, and then. So if I noticed that there is a Psyduck one. Yes. <laughs> and I also want to know, did you buy it? I have not bought it. Are you going to? I've thought about it. I you don't want to listen. I have it. a nice piece now. I got myself the Mimikyu. You deserve to get yourself a nice little uh, Psyduck. Or you can get that rose gold Jigglypuff, but I know you're looking at that, that, that silver Psyduck. Oh, yeah. I got I to gotta go. I got to go with, with Psyduck if, if I get it. I mean... I kind of feel like I have to. I mean, it's ninety nine dollars. So mm -hmm. I'll I'll run down here for all of you of what they have on the Rock Love website, which is different than what's on Pokemon Center website. Yeah. So there is Vulpix, ninety nine dollars. The Jigglypuff one, which is ninety nine dollars, but the Jigglypuff one looks like I mean, it's it's got the color in it. Yeah, that's so a rose gold tint to it to make it look like yeah, it's and pink. it's got the blue eyes. Yeah. Which look great. Um, Those really stand out. Yeah, the Vulpix is just sterling silver, just completely silver. Same with Psyduck. Yeah. Exact same. Um, so Jigglypuff is kind of the only one that kind of... Oh, well, there's Togepi, too. We'll get to that. Um, there is a Pikachu necklace for $99. Pikachu earrings for 120 I you love those earrings, by the way. Like, I think those yeah. look so cool. Because it's almost kind of like Pikachu's hanging off of your ear. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool uh, idea. I think those, if they aren't anymore, they were on the Pokemon Center at one point as an item as well. We got the Rock Love uh, Pokeball Locket. And we got Bulbasaur Necklace, Eevee Necklace, Charmander Necklace, Squirtle Necklace, Togepi Necklace. Togepi earrings, a Mew necklace, and then last but not least, who does not want <laughs> a Magikarp necklace? Now tell me, out of all the necklaces that are $100, why is Mew $75? <laughs> I was wondering the exact same thing. <laughs> you would think that Magikarp may be the one they go, ah, 75. You know, who, who's going to spend 100 on a Magikarp? And that's not a, a shot at Magikarp. That's just uh, when you're comparing it to, like, the super popular ones. I don't know if someone's going to be willing to be like, I'll spend 100 on a Magikarp right now. I know you did when it came to all the <laughs> the plushes that came out for it. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, the Mew is the cheapest one. I don't understand that. But hey, you know what? If you want Mew and Sterling Silver, seventy-five bucks on Rock Love's website. Uh, it says add to cart, so I'm assuming it's still in stock. So there you go. That's is that. I'm looking at pictures weird. of it. It's, it is uh, very weird that it's seventy-five dollars. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like it's. I can't tell you why. It looks perfectly fine to me. It looks the exact same size as all the other ones. It still is detailed. Yeah, no, no clue. And uh, it has one review. Uh, most of it's in a uh, different language, but the title for it says, So Beautiful, Five Stars. So. Okay. Get it while you can. <laughs> well, there we go. Right on Rock Love. Rocklove.com. And that, unless I missed anything, Jordan, that's, that's it. it for the news. That's it. That's it this week. That is That's all. It. But, however, that's not the end of the podcast. What? No. We still have one more segment to go. That's and crazy. I'm talking about the card pick of the week. Time has come, there can only be one card pick of the week. 
That's right. Card pick of the week, a weekly segment that we do every single week. Imagine that. A weekly Imagine segment that. that we do every single week where both myself and Mr. Jordan Fringe pick out one Pokemon card from Pokemon TCG history, and we add it to the Shadowless podcast set of 2020. Whoa. We encourage all of you to collect along with us. You don't have to collect every single card. Collect whatever ones you want. Take a picture of it. Post it on social media. Tag myself. Tag Mr. Jordan Fringe. We would love to see so far what you have collected. If you're putting it in a binder. If you're collecting in PSA form. However you may be collecting. All right. Jordan. Uh It is time. I'm bringing my A game this week. Okay. As, As far as guessing. Good, because I get to guess yours first. Oh wait, okay. as good as good as you buy your A game as good as guessing for me or giving me hints to guess for yours. Oh no, I'm horrible at I'm horrible at giving the hints oh, okay. and guessing. So, <laughs> um, I'm bringing my A game to guess yours this week. Okay, so I'll give you some time then. I'll guess yours first. Yeah. So okay, okay. This set was released in 1999. <laughs> so you got three sets here base set uh-huh jungle and fossil and some might say right now that hopping into pokemon collecting at this very moment might be considered this type of environment so you're talking about jungle that's right <laughs> <laughs> So that would go with jungle. Play, but. <laughs> <laughs> so so you're saying this this environment's really fossilized? Like no one? Yeah, it's very it's a very fossilized environment right now. Uh, very a very basic environment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, what are we what are we looking at in here? Some some classic cards, obviously. Yeah. Now now this Pokemon, it is a Pokemon, not a trainer. Okay. Um. Now this Pokemon. There, there actually is no trainers in, in jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So that narrows it down. That r- really narrows it down for you. Um, this Pokemon, I, I I probably pick on a little too much. You pick on uh, the Pokemon too much? Yeah, I, I pick on this Pokemon too much. Um, and I felt bad ab- about doing it. And so I really wanted to give this Pokemon... Uh, it, its own card pick of the week. You pick on this Pokemon too I, much. I pick on this Pokemon a lot. Oh, I know exactly who you're talking about. It's number forty-seven, Tauros. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who, who do you who do you talk smack on? And I was like, oh wait, you always claim that no one likes Tauros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I say the the cool thing about Pokemon is that every Pokemon is somebody's favorite out there. Except for Tauros. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, that's right. I, I'm sure somebody's favorite Someone Pokemon has to is like Tauros. It. Even though they have never stepped forward and sent me a direct message saying, hey, my favorite Pokemon's Tauros. Nobody's ever said <laughs> that before. So, someone out there. Someone someone let us know. Someone let us know. And don't just be direct messaging me just to say it. I really <laughs> want you to mean it if it's your favorite Pokemon. Yeah. So, uh, Tauros from... The jungle set. It can be first edition. It doesn't have to be. It's just whichever whichever one you want. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna look right now and uh, and see what they're going for on eBay. Probably ten million dollars. Probably at least at least five thousand dollars, judging from the prices of everything. At least. At least. Yeah. Right. Uh, the okay. last one sold for two dollars and ninety nine cents. I was just kidding about that five thousand dollars. Anyway, that's that a serious. really good. That's a good deal. Um, Get yourself so all the tours. Was the last one sold for. Uh, that was a first edition. Uh, you could actually. I could right now. There is a PSA ten on eBay. First edition, Tauros Jungle. Six days left on this auction. It's currently at twenty dollars for a PSA ten. So if you wanted, if you wanted that, you could totally go for that. This is your chance. Th- this is your chance right now, right here. Uh, or right you now. could just go the more simple route and not have a graded one and get it for like two dollars. Yeah, that's also a good plan. 
and be done with it and, and call it a day. Oh, yeah. There's a PSA 9 on here for $100 or best offer. First edition. Now we're talking. I might just send him an offer of $5. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> See what happens. They're like, yes, please take this Tauros off my hands. <laughs> Nobody wants it. I'm sure somebody wants it out there. I'm just somewhat kidding. All right. Mr. Jordan Fringe. Yeah. It's time for me to guess yours. You're going to guess mine? All right. What do, you, what do you got for us this week? So I would say if this is the start of a uh, – nah, that's going to just give it away. All right. It's, it's in the Diamond and Pearl series. <laughs> I was going to say something that has the same word in it. I was like, it's just it's the same. Diamond it's and a, Pearl series. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I mean, that's, that's there's a lot. There. There's, 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 there's seven full sets there. You know, I, I'll give you a hint. It's on the later back end of sets. Okay. Um, rising rivals. Eh. Please don't let it be Arceus. It's not Arceus. Okay. Supreme Victors. It's not. Oh, sorry. Diamond and Pearl proper. Not the platinum sets. I apologize. Oh, okay, okay. Because okay. I, okay. I was like, right, no. The, the, was just, just a regular Diamond and Pearl. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Um, hmm. Majestic Dawn. Boom. You got it. I got it? Majestic Dawn. All right. Now you got it, man. I I really, really think you did pretty well. You know, any longer I'm gonna have to charge you some money. You know, longer money. I I might have to charge you a fee, but man, you did really well. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There must be a mana fee in here somewhere. <laughs> Is there a mana fee in here? I don't know. Um. Because you said fee. Did I say that, hmm. man? Yes, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm going to go with card number eight. Manaphy. <laughs> yeah, it's Manaphy. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, the only words I can really use are man and fee for that one. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's a cute card. It's Mana Feet. It's my favorite Pokemon. He just uh, he doing what it does under the water. You know, he's hanging out. Nothing I mean, crazy th about this card at all. This is this is not your first Mana Feet on the. This on is the not the first Mana Feet, and it probably won't be the last Mana Feet. But I'll tell you what, it definitely is a Mana Feet. Two dollars and forty nine cents. Woo, we're it really breaking the bank this week, aren't we? On uh, on ebay right now take let's 20. see if maybe there just happens to be a psa hmm. all right all right no there's there's not a single psa what on ebay not a single one Someone not even a psa 5 this is yeah this is an outrage not one on here nobody's wanting to grade those so sad People only want to grade Psyducks. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. All right. So we got Manaphy from Majestic Dawn. We got Tauros from Jungle. Two more cards to your Shadowless Podcast set. And Jordan? Yeah. For as as little news as there was this week, little official news, mm -hmm. I, think, I think we had a pretty good podcast. Yeah, I'd say so. Not bad. Not bad bad at all the thunderstorm finally stopped here that's so good. Uh, that's positive yeah yeah it's definitely positive anything you want to say before we before we head out um go get that man if he graded and, <laughs> and get get on that list um what what do i have to say uh go to your bulk Look for those Charizards, and uh, that's it. That's that's the only thing I got for you this week. And, and the next person you you text, the next person you text, 
you pick up your phone, whoever that person may be, compliment them. Just out of nowhere. Just pay them a nice, genuine compliment. Yeah. And that's that's what I have for you all this week. That's your that's your homework assignment, if you will. Yeah. Do it. But that's it for the Shadowless Podcast this week. That's if all, you're listening folks. to us on iTunes, Spotify, if there's some wherever you're listening to us at, if there's some sort of rating review system, leave a rating. Leave a review. If you're listening to us on YouTube, hit that like button, leave a comment. Hopefully it's a nice comment. I'd appreciate that. If it's a mean comment, we'll take it. Why not? (laughs) (laughs) Either way, leave those ratings, leave those reviews, leave those comments. Help us bop to the top, all the way to the top of the ratings charts. And we'll see you all next week right here on... Shadowless Podcast. Bye-bye.